What is going on guys? It's your boy Death Gun alongside my buddy Rin. We are the Nordic Savages and today we're going to show you how to customize your gear, your base to look completely unique. So without further ado, let's get on to it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make dye. First off, you're going to need berries. These will determine the color of the dyes you make. You can get these by hand or with several different dinosaurs. I would recommend the trike or the stego. Second, you're going to want to get charcoal. This will help you make the actual dye. So head over to your campfires, your forges, your cooking pots, anything that uses wood or any type of fuel that leaves back charcoal is what you're going to want to check. Get as much charcoal as you can. For the third ingredient, we're going to need water. For this, you're going to need to make several water skins or water jars. The difference does not matter. Each one of these will help you make five dyes. So for every water skin or water jar, you can make five dyes. Here we will fill them up next to the water rather quickly. This is crucial when it comes to making dye. Now we picked up all our water, we're going to get in our buddy Shadow. You should remember him from our last video. And I'll meet you guys back at the base. Before we start making the dye, I'm going to give you guys a list of the colors I know you can make so you guys can make your own exclusive bases, armor, and saddles. What you want to do is come to a cooking pot, deposit your charcoal, your fuel, in this case I will be using wood and the actual berry you wish to make a color of. Then you want to put the water. Remember, for every water skin or water jar, you will make five dyes. Now let's leave that one there. I will also show you guys how to make mixed colors. We're going to be making orange. So what you do is you put your red berries which are the tinto berries and your yellow berries which are the amar berries you put your charcoal and your water and you start the fire this should give you orange dye let's check the red dye to see how it's going 20 dyes so far alright guys now me and my buddy Rin are gonna show you how to actually dye your armor now as you can see my armor has not been colored so what you do is you select the color of dye you wish to apply you click on the armor piece and you will get to this screen. You will have several different regions which you could apply dye to to fully customize your armor. Here I will be going with my colors which are going to be gold and black. You can choose exactly where and how to apply it, selecting to use a couple of colors or all the colors. You can change down here as you can see and here it is, my finished chest piece. Let's take a look at how it actually looks. Awesome guys, real cool. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to actually paint structures. For this, you will need paintbrush and several dyes. You will apply the dye to your paintbrush, walk up to the structure you want to color in, and smack it. This will open up the menu allowing you to paint as you see the structure in the regions available. You can apply as many colors as the structure allows you to play. Some will have tons more than others while some might only have one or two. Before we end it, let's put back the color that it had before so gaming doesn't get mad. <laughs> now I'm going to show you guys how to paint the saddle. As you can see a regular saddle is kind of boring. So what you do is you select the saddle in your inventory and select any of the regions you wish to paint. Very similar to the other things we can paint. This has several more regions to color in than the past things we showed. Now, you can use any variety of colors and pretty much have access to your dyes from the actual customization screen. Now you will apply your dyes and voila! It is done. Let's wait until morning time. Alright, before we end the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the mounts we have customized in our tribe. This really adds a personal sense to the game, allowing you to see things in a much brighter color. Now, this pretty much sums up the video. I hope you have enjoyed it, you have learned, and you added color to your ARC gameplay. For now, Nordic Savages. Death Gun and Ren wish you a very good day. 
Till next time, guys.